is honest in appraisals as senior procurement leaders. Um, social housing organisation in my induction. They said, do you want to sit in on appraisal, Sarah? i give you a good feel for the team. Um, and I sat in on the performance review of somebody who was an eight out of eight. Except they weren't, were they? They were a four. Having a four conversation is quite hard. <laughs> Much harder than an eight conversation. But it's absolutely critical to make that conversation of value. Um, personal development plan, in the interest of time, um, same principle. Whatever you're investing in that should directly contribute to an increase in performance flowing through. Um, and reward. What are the consequences? I'm going to go back to Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's had, um, over time, a reverse reward mechanism. I don't know if anybody of you have encountered this. If you outperformed in that organisation, actually not a right lot happened. But guess what happened if you underperformed? Got paid off. <laughs> so humans are humans are humans. So what do you do? You keep your head down, you go slow, and then you get rewarded. That reverse reward mechanism at an organisation level can have a big impact on the leaks coming through. Now, I'm a little bit conscious that I think I'm nearly going over. So, uh, what I thought I'd crystallise with is just four little thoughts. Oh, I've got two minutes and 22 seconds. I can do a dance as well. Um, bringing the right people in, front end. You bringing the right people in, not HR, somebody else, that team. Bringing the right people in. Has anybody seen Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? Okay. Do you remember the Sweetie Wagon? Anybody worked in an organisation where that happens? Absolutely critical that you are realistic and involved in those people joining the organisation. Don't sell them the Sweetie Wagon. If it's something different, then that is how... And, that, and, and equally, that's the sort of leader you need to bring into the organisation. Get that match right at the front end. Authenticity. I think we'll, Jules will probably we'll go on in the panel a bit and talk about this. Um, leaders are the shop window of the organisation through how, how your people see you. And in opinion survey land, in that, um, in that science, how people feel is influenced by who they work for. OK, so you're the window that they look through. And statistically, um, you can achieve a significant shift in your people's perception of your capability to do your job by doing what? Saying hello? Being friendly. I've statistically proved it. <laughs> OK? If you are authentic, genuine, nice, people will have a greater opinion of your ability to do your job. That doesn't necessarily mean you can, but it means that you'll get a higher level of engagement from your people. Authenticity, trust, massive piece of research at Sainsbury's. Um, you know when people's performance goes on the wonk? Think about people who work for you. They haven't like, done anything massively wrong, but they've just gone a little bit off the boil. The research that we did in Sainsbury's said, when that happened, fundamentally, the most significant thing that was going wrong was the relationship. And the most significant... Oh, <laughs> it worked! And the most significant thing about that was trust. And finally, leave a window open. I've talked about this a bit so far. Don't get so important, so senior such a big leader that you operate in a vacuum. It's really tough, you know, as a senior person it's really tough because everybody's going, you look great. No, you're doing great. You're doing great. It's really difficult. We're all human beings, okay? Leave a window open for realistic, honest, authentic feedback. Very tiny, quick story to finish on. This is how I learnt it. Um, so my 
maiden name is Jones. So back in the day, in the 80s, I was Miss Jones. And I came from a very formal retail background, where you were called Miss Jones. And here, they called you Sarah. So I said to, um, listen, on the sales floor, it's Miss Jones. Be behind the scenes, you can call me Sarah. So I'm parading, we were duty managers, parading up the, the checkouts. And Tracy goes, Sarah Love, Sarah Love to the information bar. I turned around and went, carried on walking, goes off again. Sarah Love, Sarah Love, back to the checkouts, please. I went back. I was really, really mad, really mad. I said, yes, Tracy Love. She said, your skirt's tucked into the back of your knickers. <laughs> True story. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening.